From Nolan's deep dive into the life of the atomic bomb's brainchild to the behind-the-scenes pressure cooker that Murphy found himself in, this is Cillian Murphy reacting to Oppenheimer's controversial scenes. Now, before we get into the controversies, let's set the scene. We're in a race against the Nazis. And I know what it means if the Nazis have a bomb. We've got Christopher Nolan. Yes, the famous director who's coming back with a bang. And guess what he's bringing to the table? Oppenheimer, a nail-biting biopic based on the 2005 book American Prometheus. This flick dives deep into the life of Robert Oppenheimer, the big-brained physicist whose genius was a game-changer in crafting the first nuclear weapons. Now here's the cherry on top. Our main man Murphy is set to bring Oppenheimer to life on the big screen. And knowing his track record with Nolan, we're in for some serious acting chops, folks. This could be the role that stamps his name on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, but the excitement doesn't stop there. The director has rolled out the red carpet for a whole galaxy of stars. We're talking about Emily Blunt, Robert Downey Jr., Matt Damon, Florence Pugh, Benny Safdie, and many more. Hell, even movie legends like Kenneth Branagh, Matthew Modine, and Gary Oldman are in on the action. It's like the Avengers of drama up in here. Now, this isn't your typical happy-go-lucky movie. It's diving headfirst into the murky waters of America's history, exploring the heart-wrenching reality behind the atomic bombings in Japan. No sugarcoating, no glossing over the gory details. We're expecting a raw and nuanced take on the whole deal. But Nolan's not stopping there. This guy's taken keeping it real to a whole new level. He's given CGI the boot and is going all in on practical effects. We're talking real-life kabooms to recreate the 1945 Trinity nuclear test. You gotta respect a director that commits to authenticity like that, and even though it hasn't hit the big screens yet, his next masterpiece is already blowing minds. Our boy's been chatting about how these early bird viewers are reacting, and let me tell you, they're not just walking out of the theater. They're staggering out, blown away. According to the director, some folks are left speechless. Scared? Yes, absolutely. But it's not just the bone-chilling history that's giving them the heebie-jeebies. They're falling head over heels for the characters and their relationships. Now that's some serious emotional whiplash, right? We all know Christopher's been the king of big-budget blockbuster goodness for the past couple of decades. You know, the mind-bending sci-fi stuff packed with action that leaves you questioning your very existence? But Oppenheimer, it's got a whole different vibe going on. No flashy sci-fi here. Instead, he's digging deep into the life of one man and his oh-so-dangerous brainchild, the first atomic bomb. The big question is, can he pull it off? From the sound of it, it's a resounding yes. Here's the real kicker, though. Oppenheimer biographer Kai Bird believes the film so powerful, it'd kickstart a national debate about science, technology, and their implications. That's some big talk, huh? Did I mention that the movie snagged an R rating? First time Nolan's hit that mark since Insomnia in 2002. This means we're in for a deep dive into the darker side of the physicist's life, the nitty-gritty details that you just can't squeeze into a PG-13 rating. With all these factors in play, the hype surrounding the director's new release is hitting a fever pitch. I mean, can you blame the fans? Speaking of that R rating, let's talk about Cillian's recent dish on some of the more spicy scenes in Oppenheimer. You know, those scenes where it's not just the chemistry that's sizzling. Yeah, those. The actor, being the cool cucumber that he is, admitted to feeling a bit jittery. Sharing some serious skin time with Florence Pugh and Emily Blunt would get anyone's heart pumping, am I right? And Nolan's not exactly known for his rom-com moments. His movies are more save the world in a spinning hallway than rose petals on the bed. But it looks like Oppenheimer is changing all that. Word on the street is, this flick's got a stronger love story than a Nicholas Sparks novel. And when I say strong, I mean R-rated strong. Murphy played it cool though, not wanting to spill too many beans. All he said about those controversial scenes with Blunt and Pew was that they were pretty heavy. But you can bet that the chemistry was off the charts. The actor hinted that the magic was real. And if that isn't enough to keep you on your toes, he signaled at some pretty wild stuff from Oppenheimer's youth. Did you know our genius physicist once left a poisoned apple on his tutor's desk? An apple. It's no love note, that's for sure. 
Makes you wonder about the guy, doesn't it? Oh, and while we're on the subject of controversies, here's a spicy one for you. The grapevine has been buzzing about the considerable age difference between our on-screen lovebirds, Cillian and Florence. So here's the scoop. Murphy, ever the dapper Irishman, clocks in at 47, while our resident midsummer queen Florence is rocking her late 20s at 27. Quick math check. Yep, that's a 20-year gap. Even more eyebrow-raising is that this real-life age difference is double the one between the historical figures they're playing in the movie, J. Robert Oppenheimer and Gene Tatlock. And if that wasn't enough to get the Twitterati's fingers typing at the speed of light, the film isn't shying away from some saucy scenes between the two, which, understandably, has some folks feeling a tad uneasy about the age thing. But come on. The film's about the guy who made the freaking atomic bomb, so we've got bigger fish to fry here. In terms of the improper stuff, both Pew and Murphy are reportedly going full commando. No wonder this movie's pushed straight into R-rated land. So far, there's been radio silence from everyone involved. I guess we'll just have to wait and see how it all plays out on the big screen. But before all that, let's get into some insider scoop straight from the horse's mouth. Or rather, the all-star cast of Oppenheimer. Here's what they have to say about this headline grabber of a movie. First off, the man behind the curtain, our maestro of mind-bending cinema, Christopher Nolan, shared his two cents. He's been itching to tell this tale for quite a while, and who can blame him? Picture this. You're about to push the big red button that might set the world ablaze. Talk about a should I or shouldn't I moment. The director wanted to dunk us headfirst into this eye-popping slice of history, and honestly, we're all for it. Emma Thomas, our powerhouse producer, chimed in, adding that the movie is chock full of rock star scientists. How cool does that sound? Along with a crew that's so talented, you'd better believe you've stepped right into the heart of this eccentric genius world. Florence Pugh, our silver screen psychiatrist Jean Tatlock, felt like she was playing with the big dogs, saying everyone was on top of their game. Sounds like Christopher only recruits the best and the brightest. And the ever so lovely Cillian? He said Oppenheimer hits you right in the feels, and it's as human as it gets. Then comes Robert Downey Jr., AKA Iron Man, playing Louis Strauss. According to him, this film is a game changer in modern filmmaking, and you better watch it on the biggest screen you can find. So folks, you know the drill. Grab that IMAX ticket. Finally, we've got Emily Blunt playing Oppenheimer's better half, Kitty. And she dropped a bombshell herself. According to her, this isn't just a film, it's an out-of-this-world experience. Talk about setting the bar sky high. But let's not forget, reaching for the stars isn't all fun and games. All this hype and high expectations came down like a ton of bricks on one person in particular. Our main man, Cillian, was sort of the phantom guest at the cast's dinner parties during the movie's production in New Mexico. His co-star, Blunt, spilled the beans. While the rest of the cast was living it up, chowing down and bonding big time, Murphy was mostly a no-show. Now, before you start thinking Cillian's got an attitude, let's clear the air. The dude was swamped, buried under the colossal task of portraying Oppenheimer. Damon chimed in saying the actor's head was too crammed to add socializing to the mix. He fessed up about the strain. This is his first rodeo as the lead in a Nolan blockbuster, even though they've worked on six films together. The Irish actor confessed he was itching for a starring role with the director. So when he was handed Oppenheimer's part, he grabbed it with both hands, stress be damned. So there you have it. Murphy, diving headfirst into the deep end of a Nolan blockbuster nerves and all. So, from the behind-the-scenes pressure cooker Cillian Murphy found himself in, to Nolan's deep dive into the life of the atomic bomb's brainchild, this was Cillian Murphy reacting to Oppenheimer's controversial scenes.